called. So we see the first uh, three books on the first page and if I go to page two I will see the other three and so on. And there's nothing on the fifth page so it displays uh, whatever is in the last one. And once again if I don't put anything there um, I will get the page one or the first three. Now, obviously it's inconvenient to do this from the address bar. Uh, we're going to now create the uh, links uh, that will help us cycle through these pages. To get the pagination buttons, uh, we're going to rely on a partial view helper of pagination control. Uh, now what partial view helper means um, is that we're going to create an independent view script that is going to be injected into our main view script uh, but it's going to have an independent variable scope which will grab all the variable values uh, from the parent class that called that partial helper and in this case it's going to get all the variables from the pagination control now what this means practically uh, first I'm going to create a file outside of any directories related to controllers so just in a scripts folder uh, so I will be able to share the special view um, into any controller that I want so it's not limited to just book list now we'll call this pagination html so uh, this is the file for our uh, partial view and we're going to call this partial view from the main view by uh, means of view helper pagination control and uh, this view helper takes uh, three parameters uh, first one is the variable that has all the paginated data then the behavior of the paginator uh, I will, there are four available I will go into each one of them once I get to it but for now I will use the default sliding and of course the file name of the partial view and uh, this view helper returns a string so we want to echo it so echo pagination control view helper that calls on to partial view script now inside of this pagination partial view is where you really get to express your creativity you can customize your pagination controls absolutely any way that you want uh, what you have is a set of variables available outlined uh, on this page of the manual uh, to do just about everything that you will want with your pagination controls um, so I will show how to use some of these to create a set of links to go through the pages to start off I will just output a list of all the pages available uh, for that you can use pages in range which is an array meaning that I can uh, loop through it and because I am inside of the um, partial view that is called by the um, paginator I have the variables available through so just typing the variable names directly and uh, for now I'll just echo them to show you what this looks like so here I have a um, list of all the pages available now to make any use out of that I want to surround them with links um, we'll do that through a simple ahref tag and I will use the URL view helper to generate the proper URL for me
so this is going to create a full URI um, that's going to keep me inside of the books controller uh, as well as create a variable page with the value of the page I'm clicking on and then I could actual page and close the link tag and that should give us the links so we we'll go to one second page third page and the fourth page uh, to let the viewer know where he is on the pagination list um, we can unlink the page number that shows where we're currently at uh, so we want to grab the number of the page we're at and compare it with the position in the loop uh, the function that lets us uh, know the position in the pagination is current so we are going to show the a tag only if the page is not equal to the current page otherwise uh, just echo it out as we did before okay so the page we are on now does not get a link and um, right now they all looks close together so I'm going to just style it up a bit um, so it looks better okay okay now it looks more readable 